Welcome to the Pauper Gauntlet, it's time to play Affinity. I have mulligan once and I'm gonna keep this hand trying to find something to play. And I'm up against Burn. So now my plan is definitely to try to first cast this Frogmite. Is that the right line? Yes, I think it is. Will I get burned out? Burn actually has a pretty good affinity matchup, so I might be in trouble here. So later. Interesting. No land. I think I have to kill this so later. Can he protect it? I doubt it. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it in response. What if he has brute force? Maybe this is a bit optimistic. And why would he pump it? Okay. Well, that was greedy of me. Too much control player, perhaps. Uh, damn it. Okay, next turn I'll get the frog might off at least. But I don't feel a lot of pressure, do I? Another soul eater. This could get nasty. Okay, we cast the frog might. Paying a blue mana out of that. Drawing a card. Find a land. And now we could actually fling if we have to. For example, if the frog might is killed. That's the plan. But he lightning bolts me. This guy doesn't have first strike, does he? What the hell is he doing? Is he gonna fling it? He doesn't have enough for that. He does have enough for that. Oh Jesus. I have been tricked. I should have done that much earlier. Couldn't I just keep paying? Okay, there, I will probably not make it out of this anyway. He could just have paid again, right? Uh, and now, actually, I don't have anything. I can thought cast, can I? Play a blue. And uh, a spring leaf drum. But that's all I can do. 
And it looks like Affinity is in deep trouble. But that's a kiln fiend, I can deal with that. Near Enforcer costs two. But any burn spell from his deck and I'm done. Actually, I think I should have cast the Caribus Fortress here instead. I'm not sure. I definitely should play the Caribus Fortress next turn. Oh, he only has four life, of course. No! <laughs> Uh, okay, so how do I sideboard against burn? I'll check my old sideboard plan. Hydro blasts, pretty good. Doom blades. Immolating is an artifact, right? Can I can I use an ancient grudge? Crow Clan Shaman seems very good as well. But I don't have anything to take out because I take out Disciples and Shamans. Shaman looks pretty strong though. Take out the slow anti-controlly stuff, put in Shamans. But Wellspring goes well with the Shamans. I can't fit them in. <sighs> Maybe I don't need flings actually. Not sure, not sure at all. Familiar has actually got someone uh, stepping up and giving me a sideboard plan and play instructions. I need a sideboard plan for Affinity as well. Slow, bad start, but hopefully things will start happening, start happening after a while. So I might be dead then. This is what I meant at the start with, uh, with Affinity. It is so easy for the deck to beat itself. And in a long tournament such as the Pauper Gauntlet, that is bound to happen. What a horrible, horrible start for me. Hmm. At least now I have a Galvanic Blast. So I can kill something. I like killing stuff. Draw a card. That's a lot better. That's uh, a mirror enforcer next turn. Yeah. Or is it better to just kill the that guy he was pretty dangerous last time you know what i'm just going to kill him and play my carapace fortune and then i'm gonna play mirror enforcer and then i'm gonna try to run him over Hand suddenly turned very 
Nice. Swing. Now it's very tempting to play the Tog. Five artifacts, two mana for a mirror enforcer, or play Tog. I'm playing the mirror enforcer. I might be wrong here. Whoa! Glad he didn't have smashed his smithereens. And he gets to double bolt it. That's great because. Oh no, a needle drop. Still pretty good. Uh, okay, cast thought cast. Land. Tog. Terrarian. Plenty of stuff to eat. To save the little tog. How much damage can I do? I can do 15. And I will. Okay. Let's eat that thing. Let's eat that thing. When he starts to bolt the eight tog, I'm all good, I think. Uh, okay, let's eat the swear as well. Hydro blast. Yeah, how could he possibly stop this now? Should have gotten a blue mana, right? I couldn't do that without sacrificing. Oh, that's a galvanic blast. Now everything is pretty cool. Podcast. Terrarian. Sacrifice the Terrarian. Uh, bolt his sorry face. And eat the uh, Great Furnace. And that thing. Oh, he bolted himself. <laughs> Ooh, ah, was his comment. Not sure what that meant, but that felt much better. So uh, let's see if Affinity can live. Affinity. Yes, we want to see Affinity in round 7, right? That is what we want to do. So let's go for it. This hand has no lands. I have the mulligan. I will keep that, but it doesn't look very good, does it? Can't get an early tog here. 
So remember what we learned. We have to um, play Perilis research in response to him killing the Tog. He might kill the Tog here because well, that will be really hard to manage mana wise. We can of course just searing blaze the Tog, but we have Spring Leaf Drums. Uh, did he just miss a land drop? That changes everything. Now I want to enable thought cast instead. Like this. And then I can thought cast off the tog. Next turn. Why didn't he play the Forgotten Cave? That seems crazy. What? Why did he cycle the Forgotten Cave? Why is that even in the deck? If that is the way he's going to play it. Tog. Have the Chromatic Star at burn protection. Uh, blue mana. Thought cast. Mirror Force it cost two, so that can't be done, but this looks pretty good. Can research the star as well. But maybe I should just focus on getting the enforcer into play. Yeah, I'll do that. Do I eat the star? No, play the enforcer. Wait a minute. Sorry, let's do this right. Spring lift drum. Now I have six artifacts. Then I play the enforcer. I get a blue mana for thought cast. Get the land. How much damage is this? Four. This is lethal. 4, 8, 17, 18. It is. Um, 4, that's 17 damage. Just eat everything. Should have eaten the star before I attacked, of course. This is three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. So eat it all. There's nothing you can do to stop it for. One red mana. All in. Two years ago, there were even builds of Affinity without Atog. But Affinity wins. And moves on to round seven of the Pauper Gauntlet. Thank you for watching. If somebody feels strongly for affinity, you could help me to build a sideboard plan. Because I definitely need one. We can't change a deck, but I need a sideboard plan. And thank you. Um, thank you, Ricardo, who helped me build the... Um, uh, helped me with the familiar tips. Thank you for watching.